Oh, look at that, that's wonderful. Common spotted orchid. These weren't in this meadow before we did the late hay transfer. That's wonderful. Okay, so we've got all three of the later flowering species that we wanted to transfer with the uh, late green hay transfer. So we've got the great spinet here, which is this here, and then behind it here is the knapweed that's just about to come into flower. And then down here we've got the yellow vetchling, meadow vetchling. Some of the later flowering species that are, are uh, characteristics of hay meadows, you don't see in all the meadows because, because the management might entail an earlier cut. But one of the later flowering ones um, is this, this melancholy thistle. Really beautiful, really striking, quite big. Um, and they, they have really um, characteristic white undersides to the leaves. They make them easy, not very prickly as thistles go. Um, and next to the melancholy thistle here, we've just got uh, the startings of the big frothy flower heads of meadow sweet. So these are going to be flowering in the next two weeks or so. So here we have some meadow cranesbill, this amazing, vibrant, purpley blue colour flower, and the cut leaves of a geranium. Um, really characteristic of the meadows in Boland. In the Yorkshire Dales, you'll also find wood crane's bill, which is very similar, slightly pinky with a white middle, but there are very few sites with uh, wood crane's bill in Boland. We like this one. And just in front, you can see again, these are the buds of the black knapweed. So this is a species, again, that is a later flowering species, uh, kind of July, August, even September time. So really important to ensure that there's a nice long supply of pollen and nectar for the bees and other pollinators that we've seen here today.